I have a 597 CIHD Hummingbird Fishfinder GPS and I wanted to use it for ice fishing so I bought the Hummingbird PTCU online for $107 about free shipping and I wanted to make this video so I other people can see what's all included. So it comes with instructions, some other paperwork. It actually comes with this quick disconnect mount and the two parts that hold the wires in. Hardware to hold it down to the base, some zip ties for something. These are the two battery, Velcro battery straps to hold the battery onto the base. Comes with a transducer cable. It's like a small cable that goes down under, comes out here, so you can pull your transducer right into there. The handle that mounts on there. And it comes with a 7 amp hour, or it's actually 7.2 amp hour battery charger, which has an LED that changes. There's alligator clips on the end, and then this small power cord that goes to the fish finder and to the battery. But I didn't like the idea of having to unplug these every time I want to charge it. Because someone, someone online was complaining about it, that it's hard to reach behind there and do it. So I bought these, which haven't arrived yet. They're called DC Power Pigtails. 2.1 millimeter. For 10 bucks on eBay, you get 10 of each, male and female. So I'm gonna just cut this right here, put two males on this, or put the male on this end, and on this end, put a female. So these will always be attached to the battery, and then you'll just have a female, this plug in, sitting right on top of the battery here but it'll be farther out so you can get more access. And then I'm going to put a male on this one as well so that when you want to charge it, you just undo, pop that off, and then pop that one on. So you don't have to mess with these clips and these connectors. Then it came with the bag, of course, which seems decent. So it has like Grippy things on the bottom, clips on the side. And then it came with these, which I probably won't even use, but so you get a suction cup, three different mounts, like a some type of strap, and then the hardware, and then in another bag comes with another suction cup, another type of mount, and a strap again, and then some more hardware. So, I ordered for my for the 597 CIHD, it said in the manual that it, it needs the XI920 transducer, so I ordered that too. And that should be coming soon. I got that on uh, online for 75 bucks, about. So, once I get it all together, I'll show you what it looks like. My DC pigtails arrived. Okay, so in order to install them, you need a heat gun, need some seamless butt connectors that I got on eBay a while ago. So they're 22 to 18 gauge. And you need two males and one female, and then some heat shrink, marine heat shrink, and then some. Wire crimpers. Alright, I got all wired. Uh, one thing to do before you start doing any of this is take the disconnect the fish finder from here in case you just to protect it from anything you do wrong. Like I did something wrong that wouldn't have hurt it, but it still hurt uh, the bucket or the uh, spade connectors. So I was setting these up here, trying to figure out the length of wire I needed. And I had already crimped these on there, 
on each of them and I accidentally touched two and it went just fried them. So note, uh, note that. <laughs> so I just used my own spade connectors. I had two of them then I just hooked it right up to the female. So we got that going here, up here, and put heat shrink on those just to keep them stay staying tight. And you can see the power wire comes up and you can't really see it. But then I attach the doilers on the there. They come around to this male. So I just plug them in that easy. Then you have to put a male on this on the charger as well. So I just cut a few inches off because you don't need this super long. And one note is the one that has letters and numbers on it is the positive. The one that just has the bars is the negative. So you have to make sure you hook those up correctly. And I just put heat shrink on each of those individually and then put one big piece across the top. So normally this is plugged in. So when you want to charge, you just plug this in. And plug it in the wall. Now I'm just waiting on that transducer to come in the middle. Alright, so everything's together now. And you can store your uh, battery charger in this little side pocket. But if you're going out on the ice, there's no need to have it with you. And then, in the back, so, to charge your battery, under that, and then there's those connectors I was talking about earlier, and then you just connect the battery charger. Now you don't have to mess around with trying to get your fingers up there and undo those clips. You never have to undo them until you get a new battery. And I just got the transducer in the mail, so you can store that back in this back pocket. behind there. And this little thing rolls up. Press on in here. And then you plug the transducer cable. Let's see here. Down here. Turn it on. There you go. And you want to go through your settings and you can turn it on ice fishing mode so that it shows the battery and some of this other stuff. There's actually lots of settings um, within here to change colors and you can do zoom and some other stuff. So now I just got to try it out, see if it works. <laughs>